In this problem, we have an equation with two logarithms, and we're going to solve it. So the first thing we'll do is we'll combine these logarithms. So whenever you have a plus sign, you can combine the logs by using multiplication. So this piece here, because it's plus, is going to be turned into the log base 4 of x plus 6 times x plus 3. And then this here is equal to 1. The rule here basically says if you have the log base b of x plus the log uh, base b of y, that's equal to the log uh, base b of x times y. So the addition turns into multiplication. All right. Now we need to get rid of this log. So what we can do is we can exponentiate. Basically, we're going to put a 4 here. We're going to put a 4 here. And when you do that, what happens is these cancel. And so you're left with x plus 6, x plus 3. And here's a 1, so it'll be 4 to the 1, which is 4. Okay, and you can always do that if you have, like, say you had log base 3 of x plus 2 equals 4. Then you would put a 3 here, you would put a 3 here, these would cancel, you'd get x plus 2 equals 3 to the 4th. So same idea, right? So the, the idea is that to get rid of the log, you just use the number that's here. So, and that's called exponentiating. Really, really, really powerful stuff. All right. This is a quadratic equation. So what we'll do now is we'll multiply everything out and set it equal to zero and try to solve it. Let's go ahead and distribute. So we'll take x and multiply by x. It's going to give us x squared. And x times 3 is going to give us 3x. So x times x, x squared, x times 3, 3x looks good. Then you do the same thing with the 6. You just take the 6 and multiply it by both of these. So it'll be 6x. And then 6 times 3 is 18. And this is equal to 4. Uh, we can subtract the 4 and combine like terms. So minus 4, minus 4. So we have x squared. 3x plus 6x is 9x. And then 18 minus 4 is 14. Yeah, it looks okay. And that's equal to 0. All right, now comes the fun part. We have to try to factor this. <laughs> um, this should factor. If it doesn't factor, that means um, you did it wrong. Whoops, I erased my 0. So let's see. x, x. This is equal to 0. So what multiplies to 14? Well, 2 and 7. Oh, and those add to 9. Pretty easy. So we just need a 2 and a 7. So we set each piece equal to 0. So x plus 2 equals 0. And then x plus 7 equals 0. And subtract 2, so you get negative 2. And subtract 7, so you get negative 7. So these aren't the answers. Um, whenever you have an equation with logs, you should always check your answers. So let's go ahead and write down the original problem again. Uh, it was Okay, it was log base 4 of x plus 6 plus log base 4 of x plus 3. And we said it was equal to 1. Okay, so let's let's plug everything in here into check. So let's check negative 2. Let's do that one first. So check negative 2. It's really important that you check uh, with the original equation. So log base 4 of negative 2 plus 6 plus log base 4 of negative 2 plus 3. And this should be equal to 1. So when you add here, you just get 4. So you get log base 4 of 4, and then plus log base 4 of 1, and that should be equal to 1. So this is going to be 1, okay? because four, the question you ask is 4 to what power is 4? 1. And this is going to be equal to 0, because the question you ask is 4 to what power is 1? 0. So again, the first one is 4 to what power is 4? 1. This one is 4 to what power is 1? 0. <laughs> and then here you get 1. I hope I said that right. So the first one is 4 to what power will give you 4? 1. Right? 4 to the 1 is 4. And this one is 4 to what power will give you 1? 0, because 4 to the 0 is 1. So you get 1 equals 1. So that's true. You know, you could you could put this in a calculator. Like you could just you could do it like this. If you have log base 4, 4, 
write it as log of four over log of four. Oh, look, it's one. But you can put it in a calculator like that. You're allowed to do that. It's just the log of this number divided by the log of this number. So like for this one here, it'd be the log of one divided by the log of four. It's called the change of base formula. So just log of the top divided by log of the bottom always works. So this one works. So now we just have to check um, negative seven. So let's check negative seven. So we're going to plug it back into this equation here. So we have log base four of negative seven plus six plus log base four of negative seven plus three. And that's equal to one. So this becomes log base four of negative one. Okay, and then we stop. And the reason you stop is because this is no good. You cannot take the log of a negative number. Like if you were to keep going and like use properties of logs, it would check. But it would be wrong because this doesn't make any sense. So you have to stop when it doesn't make sense. So you can't take the log of a negative. So that's it. The only answer is negative two. I hope this video has been helpful.